This is Social Confidential, where Adweek social media editors take a look behind the logo to find out who's tweeting and sharing from major brands. I'm Jess Seferis, and I'm here with Connor Mason, Senior Director of Digital Marketing for Bud Light at Anheuser-Busch, and Mike Vidiello, Social Content Director at Wyden Kennedy, New York. How did the idea for the Chief Meme Officer come to be, and why was this specifically a role dedicated to the Seltzer brand? The idea for Chief Meme Officer was really founded upon you know, Bud Light's personality. Since 1982, we've been the jester. We've been providing fun and providing comedy in, in everything that we do. And we've been posting memes since 2019. We kind of converted our entire Instagram account over to that strategy. We as marketers can sometimes get caught up in our own little loop in our own world. And that's why it's so exciting to bring someone in from the outside and get their perspective, which is why it was so great that the Chief Meme Officer then becomes this kind of champion for the community. What does the day-to-day -day look like for this chief meme officer role and how does that fit into your larger team? I think brand teams are often set up to create, you know, one, two, three, four campaigns a year, but they're not set up to be super agile in, in talking to consumers every single day. So for us, the chief meme officer is another position internally that's really helping us respond to cultural trends in real time and create some shareability and virality of our own. What were some memes or moments that you were particularly proud of or especially enjoyed that were created by this role? The number one thing that people always ask us on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, in our DMs and comments is give us free beer, give us free seltzer, give us free swag. And so this person immediately identified that and said, how could you give free seltzer to people? We actually then developed a bunch of memes highlighting that this is something that we were going to do. Uh, and this person really led the charge with them. What's been the most interesting learning experience from the process of creating and working with this role? I think the most interesting learning from this position is, is truly how creative uh, the community community can be. It wasn't just, you know, people with small meme accounts, but it was also people that were lawyers and doctors, other marketers. It was really everyone from all walks of life. And it was really impressive to see the creativity. I guess it is proof too that this is kind of the future of our business. Do you imagine that you will recreate this role or that it'll be a recurring role for the brand? I think we're always going to find ways to engage the community and have the community create content for us. That's going to be a big part of the brand DNA, I think, from, from here on out. The gatekeeping era is kind of over and, and we're looking to hire different. We're looking for people who are just funny on Twitter, who are funny on Instagram. Entertainment is the number one thing because no one wants to just hear about your brand if you're not giving them a reason to care and entertaining them throughout their day. If you can give one piece of advice to brand social media managers, what would it be? Take your vacation days. This is an always on job and you need to take the opportunities to shut it down and get some rest when you have them. The internet wants to talk about what the internet is already talking about. You have to listen to, to everyone. And I think from listening to people is where the best ideas really can come from. As a digital marketer, whether you're the person that's actually sending tweets and responding to DMs, or whether you're the person that's creating brand campaigns, I think you have to spend time on the internet, understanding what are people saying about your brand, about other brands, and about kind of the internet at large. If you miss a trend, don't worry about it. There's always another one coming. So just pitch, 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 and don't cry over dead work. Connor, Mike, thank you for joining us today. Thanks, it was a pleasure. Yeah, thanks for having us. I'm Jessica Ferris. See you next time on Adweek Social Confidential.